Hello, this is Joe Nathan, and I'm going to give you a brief overview slash walkthrough of the Transformer Bread theme I put together. The Transformer Bread name is a combination of Transformer and Gingerbread. It's inspired by the ASUS Transformer Honeycomb Tablet. Uh, I use the Honey Bread theme as a building base slash starting point, but this theme has become its own theme in its own right. It's been built for tablets uh, running the Sanogen 7 mod. First, let me walk you through my setup here. I'm using Launcher Pro Plus. I have four home screens. The first widget here is the Minimalistic Text widget. Uh, below that is the Beautiful Widgets Super Weather widget. And uh, on my second screen, here I have the Launcher Pro Plus Gmail widget, followed by the Launcher Pro Plus Calendar widget. And then I have the very useful Google Voice widget here. On my third screen, I just have some shortcuts to games and media related apps and the Google Music Beta widget. On my fourth screen, I have my note taking applications. And, uh, okay, so now for the actual theme. The first notable element of this theme is the soft buttons, which uh, more or less are identical to the ASUS Transformer soft buttons. They are very attractive, and uh, I'm not just saying that because this is my theme. Next, you'll notice the Wi-Fi and battery icons. Uh, they're gray uh, to give the theme some variety. I see a lot of themes where the creator picks one or two colors and then proceeds to make everything that one or two colors, which is tacky and boring. Next, this is the notification pull-down, or uh, pull up in this case. Let's look at some of the uh, one press effects here. You can see there's a darker shade of gray there, and here you get a, uh, a blue hover over effect there. And uh, let's see. Uh, next, let me open up the open up the Sanogen settings here. Let you see some of the other elements of the theme. Let's go to uh, performance, and so you can see here. Let me uh, adjust this brightness so you can actually see. So you can see here, I've uh, I've customized the way some of the buttons appear uh, to give it a more sleeker, more stream streamlined uh, appearance here. And so we, let's check down. Let's check out some of the uh, some of the on press effects here. And bring up the C. Comcast RAM usage, you can see uh, just some more of the on press effects. The uh, brightness adjusted, sorry about that. As you can see, it's very subtle here. This press down effect here is very subtle, but uh, but it's, it's a pretty cool effect here. And alright, so next I'm going to take you into the Nook Tweaks app provided to us by. Uh, Dallengren, I think that's how you say his name, uh, which is, if you haven't uh, used a Nook Color or modded Nook Color and you haven't donated to him, make sure to hit that uh, donate button. Uh, it's a really great uh, developer. Alright, so I'm going to go into the CPU settings, the voltage settings, to show you. These are the uh, progress indicators here. And uh, I'm just going to show you what those look like and some of the on press effects. There. So, um, let's see, oh yeah, alright, yeah. so next time let me go into the, uh, settings, and see applications, manage applications, and show you some of these other here, in fact, these are the tablet, these tab, uh, these tab elements here that have been themed, and so I'm kind of, I'm kind of experimenting with some of these different, uh, colors and everything like that, uh, and so far, I think these things work. They add a bit, a bit more variety to the theme, so it's not just so, uh, so monotone. And uh, all right. So lastly, I'm gonna show you the. Uh, lastly, I'm going to show you the keyboard. All right. So let me adjust the brightness here. So you can kind of see what's going on. All right. So this is the. Uh, 
this is the thumb keyboard. This is the, which is the keyboard that I personally used here. Um, it's, um, I really love this keyboard. It uh, has improved my accuracy and typing speed. And uh, so you can see it's all black here. And these are the press effects here, you can see. So we got like a blue, a light blue press effect. And uh, I also themed the, uh, also this is, if you want to use this theme, if you have the thumb keyboard and you want to use this theme, this is the black theme and the, uh, the options. Uh, and then I also themed the uh, default gingerbread keyboard, which I'll show you that now. And which is, I, I themed it in the same manner. So it's, uh, you know, black there with the, uh, it's all black with the, you know, on press effects there, like that. And so, in any case, I guess that's about it for this, uh, this brief little walkthrough. And, uh, it's available, it's available for download now. And, uh, hope you enjoy it. Happy theming.